So, you may not know me. That's because you don't know who I am. But I was made king of the Britons in 1995 after too much LSD, speed, magic mushrooms, ecstasy, weed, beer, vodka, and other shit in 1995. And a very difficult time at Glastonbury Festival, which included orbital soothing our sonic mindsets of knowing beauty. We were looking for art that weekend. John Major had resigned. There was no Prime Minister of Britain on the Glastonbury weekend of 1995. If you consult Wikipedia, you will find that this is true, this is accurate, and this is pertinent information to the history of Britain. Under the weekend of 1995 Glastonbury Festival, there was no official leader of Britain. He had resigned on a Thursday. That's when they called me. I was shitting myself. From beginning to end, three days, three nights, in this field of ten thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, all telling me shit, all talking to me. I didn't know any of them. I didn't know who they were. Mummy had never introduced me to any of them quarterly. I was shitting it. I was on speed as well, and a bit of drink and a bit of smoke, as is your want at these rowdy festivals. But there I went, pressed on, and three days and three nights I suffered that affliction of madness. But such hilarity and beauty and danger. Much danger for the year that I experienced my experience. But it was a colossal divine thing of biblical wonder at the same time of beauty, joy, hope, faith, glory, humanity, spieling in awesome terms of musical reverence in a tribal system of awesomeness. But when you put me in charge, oh my god, I don't necessarily think that's the best deal, guys. It's not because I'm a shit leader. It's because I know too much about the fates of pedestal placements and ideology and idolatry. And you don't want to go down that road. I know I'm fucking amazing. Right? You don't have to tell me how incredible and divine and awesome I really am as a human being under this holy sky of wonders. Right? I am imbued with many blessings. But what do I do? What, what's the guy supposed to do, right? I do my best. I've cast a couple of miracles. You get a miracle and you're really, really lucky, right? I've had like two miracles in my life. No one believes them. They all think I'm a psycho. They all think I'm a mad, deranged, barbarian lunatic. And it's a shame because I am not. I'm a highly understanding, ideological, emotional, empathic genius. And they are the ways. These are the ways when you come from America. But I'm not from America. I'm from Britain. And with this, I would like to declare a symposium thus. That we are not fans of the gun. We are fans of peace, wisdom, multiculturalism and understanding. We have witnessed the genii revelating through years of ten tenacity to beauty, hard work, grace and good faith. We are incredible. We are awesome. We are the most intelligent island, along with the Japanese, possibly on the globe for quite some time. And although I may not be among the greatest, who fix their biscuits and make their Weetabix, and cause their storms to mighty infrastructures, with their awesome, awesome circuitry, and their plumbing and their design and their architecture. I am nonetheless included and considered a valid citizen, whereas under other cultures of iridescent horror, I would not be included due to vile means of ancient perversion of the holy way. Whereas I know, thanks to Glastonbury 1995, I am secure and protected and known by the Holy God. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. So you gotta check your biscuits, you gotta know your realities, and you gotta realize 
Just what the main game is, gentlemen. The main game is you and me and I under the felt sky. The lubrication of the genius atmosphere. The sentient atmosphere. The listening atmosphere. The atmosphere that is talking to all of us at all times. Speaking to our sensoriums as we ripple through time. But you don't think like that, do you? You think in simple, mortal, humdrum terms of the hive-like consciousness. Where you're spewing your guts to f perform the necessities of day-to-day -day sufferance. So you can keep your spew longevity. But that is another way of the genie. The genie I walk through dark corridors of ancient promises. And no things beyond the scope of all awareness. And the things that they have privy to in their sacred knowledge are way beyond the mortals. So don't ever you forget just where you're coming from. And don't ever you forget just what you matter. Because you do matter as long as you know and love and know and love and know and love perpetually with the controversial term for a deus, a daily, a god, a god, that's what we're talking about, we're talking about a god. We don't have to call him Aleph, it's okay, it's okay. There is a god and we don't have to call him Aleph. You will be allocated freedom under God. Keep it real, keep it pure, keep it faithful, keep it loving, keep it peaceful, keep it utopian, keep it sky high, keep it rocket fuel. Keep it genius, keep it amazing, keep it genii, keep it wonder, and everything. Everything will be amazing. It has to be. Think about it. It's extrapolation of psychological possibilities and possi positivities. It's a bit harder for six months. You gotta expand, extrapolate, and augment your theorems of positive your theorems into a beautification of wonder, and there you will sky high rocket into a dream of so many wonders. You will wonder why anyone could ever be an enemy of the West. When all the East do is plunder negativity and dark thoughts and even vile genocide. And from there, we keep our biscuits. We maintain our craniums, and we sustain our whatnots, and we say, No, Mr. Putin, you are a grisly little sausage, and we will not die this night. I don't even know why I watch these days.